everybody good morning or good afternoon or good evening we are live so it's kind of morning late morning but welcome into another live video here on my youtube channel excited to have you here and excited to share some great information today the subject is specializing in short hair you're gonna love this one don't forget i want to hear from you comment i want to see you a lot subscribe i want to know what you think like uh smook welcome in good to see you am i pronouncing that right let me know please in the comments chat is open so get in there and get chatting you know how that works and i haven't said this before but i hear other people say it i know i'm supposed to say it turn on your notifications you don't want to miss a video when we come on here and do this you want to be in on it so i got my my fine cuts shirt on. Some of you recognize this shirt. Some of you have seen this shirt. Mighty Fine Cuts Buffalo, New York. They gave me this shirt at a show a few years back, and I literally wore this show at hair shows on setup day, every setup day for like two years. I hadn't seen it in a while. It was kind of deep in the drawer where I keep the t-shirts, and when it came to the surface, I said, that's my shirt for a video. So shout out. If you know these guys, let them know they're being featured in the video. Uh, and thank you for the shirt all these years later. I'm still wearing it. So if you got a shirt you want featured in a video, send me a shirt. I will wear it. I will call you out. I will plug you. I will promote you because that's the way the shirt game works. Short hair. We're going to talk about short hair. In the thumbnail on this, I was holding up a zoot comb. If you don't know about a zoot comb, got to get a zoot comb in a little bit. I'll tell you more about the Zoot Comb, but it's your ultimate men's hair and short hair tool. We'll give it a big pluggy later as well. But I want to talk about short hair, and I want to talk about specializing in short hair. Came up in a class last night at a school, Pivot Point, Bloomingdale, Illinois, suburban Chicago, my alma mater, Pivot Point, where I went to Cos School all those years ago, Mr. Skipper and... Um, Oh my God, Ken, Mr. Washburn, the teachers over there, longtime friends of mine invited me in to spend some time with students. We got onto this conversation and I said, I need to share this in a video. So short hair is the secret to making money in our business. Short hair is the ticket to massive income in the haircut game. My personal short hair story is fairly simple. I figured it out and I figured it out early. I worked with a guy, his name was Sal. He was a big time busy hair cutter, hairdresser in my first salon where I was a shampoo girl and I was Sal's assistant for a while. And one of the things I noticed was Sal was making more money than anybody else in the shop. That was pretty easy to notice pretty quick. One of the things I noticed was Sal was really, really good and cut a really, really lot of short hair. So I kind of explored what he was doing. I kind of did a little bit of learning. And so very early on in my career, I solidified this idea of the power of short hair. New nickname, Google of the Barbering Craft. I love it, Aziz. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the kind compliment. Um, I kind of codified this idea in my brain very early on from the inspiration I got as an assistant working for Sal. And I'm going to tick you through it now. I'm going to run you through this list. And let's talk about it. If you don't agree, get on the chat. Let's have a conversation. If you do agree, let me help you leverage this idea. Short hair comes back faster. Look at my head. I get my hair cut every two weeks at the most. Short hair grows out, loses its shape faster. Short haired clients are in more often. You can be a lot busier with a lot fewer customers. So, you know, if you live in small town America where you say, we don't have enough people around here, cut them short. If you live in big city America where you say, we got too many shops and too many salons and too much competition, cut them short. You can be a lot busier with a lot fewer heads if the heads are cut short. Short hair comes back faster. Short hair takes less time in the chair. You turn short haired clients so much more quickly. I always say I'm not going to spend 45 minutes with a round brush blowing out Chewbacca's mother. That's hell. Who wants to do that? All this long hair, cut it off. Short hair comes back faster. Short hair takes less time in the chair. Short hair is easier. The skills of short hair are easier to master. We don't get lost in it. It's just more fun. Short hair buys more chemical services. 
You cut the color off and the perm off as fast as you put it on the head. If you do chemicals, short hair and chemicals, you are printing money. The Wikipedia of hair. There's another good one. Thanks, guys. I appreciate the enthusiastic support out there. Um, short hair buys more color. If you're focusing on color, long hair is about keeping up with the outgrowth, what they call the roots. Short hair hair color is about keeping up with the ends because as fast as you color the hair, you nibble the ends off. Short hair comes back faster. Short hair spends more time, less time in the chair. Short hair is in your chair more often. Short hair buys more chemicals. Short hair buys more take home hair care product. And product is cash straight to the bottom line. Think about it. The woman that you see out and about in sweats and a ponytail, she gets two haircuts a year. And she doesn't buy much product. Might use a lot of conditioner. But other than that, she doesn't buy much product. Short hair. Think about my hair. I use shampoo and I use conditioner and I use a gel and I blow it dry and I put a little paste on it. I also use a shave oil, a shave cream and my After Buzz product. What is that? Like nine products I'm using? And that's before deodorant and bath soap in the shower and, and fragrance and toothpaste. I'm consuming a ton of stuff. And I don't have a whole lot of hair. Short hair comes back faster. Short hair spends less time in the chair. Short hair buys more hair care products. Short hair buys more chemical services. Short hair sends more referrals. Yes, that's right. Because people notice short hair. People notice short. They notice texture. They notice movement. They notice asymmetry. Uneven haircuts. Not badly uneven, but creatively uneven. And people notice strong color. Those are the things that get comments. Hey, I love your hair. Hey, who does your hair? Hey, I want my hair like that. Short hair drives all of this. Short hair is the secret to making money in the business. So a couple things. One day, having studied how Sal worked and having understood the power of short, short is money. I decided I specialize in short. I just woke up one day and said, that's it. I went into my salon, I talked to my desk staff, I talked to my team members, and I announced, as of today, Ivan specializes in short hair. And the rule was, because we were not just a barbershop, we were men and women and kids and families. The rule was, if your hair touches your shoulder, you can't sit in my chair unless you're sitting in my chair to have a conversation about getting your hair off your shoulder. I specialize in short hair. I had 24 hair cutters on my team. Somebody else will cut you. We're not going to turn you away, but I'm not going to cut you because I'm going to focus and specialize in short hair. And I can tell you, as soon as I threw down a focus, as soon as I threw down a specialty, I got busier. All of a sudden, people wanted to sit in my chair. Please understand, People want to be treated as special. They think of themselves as special and they want a specialist. If you get sick, you want a doctor that specializes in whatever's wrong with you. I always use as an example, have you ever been to the mall? Do they sell gym shoes at the mall? Is there a store to buy gym shoes at the mall? There's a lot of gym shoes. There's a lot of stores. There's a lot of gym shoes going on at the mall. But every night, while there are people at the mall shopping for gym shoes, there's somebody at home on the computer on the Nike website custom building their own special Nikes. Because with all of the gym shoes that are available in the store, there's a customer that still wants mine, special, different, and unique. And that is part of what specializing is all about. So I specialized where I saw the big money in short hair. Now let's talk about the zoot comb and its advantages for short hair. And then I'm going to tell you my secret. Stick around. I'm going to share my big tip trick and secret for building short hair business. There's one thing you can do that will build you more short hair business, bigger, better, quicker, faster than any other thing you can do. And I will share that at the tail end of the video. Let's take a look at your zoot comb, your men's hair cutting multi-tool. It's like a Swiss army comb if you would. Clipper, trimmer, scissor, razor, blender, all five of our major cutting tools are supported by our zoot comb. The handle is thin and it's flexible and it's slightly curved on both surfaces to allow you to rocker it in very, very close. It's light gray for visibility. You can't cut what you can't see. 
It's got a curved spine that mimics our natural tapering motion. It's got texture on the surface for grip and notches underneath for control. That's how you control the angle of a taper comb for clipper over comb. It's wide right here, like about the size of a quarter. If you surface grab, if you pinch the comb between your thumb and forefinger like that, you impinge the thumb, you put pressure on the thumb, which creates stress at the wrist, which creates stress at the shoulder. By widening your thumb and forefinger, it's like using an offset scissors. We release the pressure on our hand. We make it easy on our wrist. We make it comfortable on our shoulder. Can't take care of them if you don't take care of you. Think about how you do some of these things. Control your comb. Wide teeth for blending scissors. Narrow teeth for tight tension for straight scissors. Smooth surface for clipper over comb work. Straight spine at an angle for beautiful blending. It's the width of a clipper blade. It fits inside your barbicide jar. It's got rounded teeth for flow through the hair and client comfort. And it's got a bevel on the internal tooth so the clipper won't snag or drag. Now, if you're keeping track, that was 17, but I promised you 18 unique features. And here we go. Feature number 18. This one right here is the big deal. For 150 years, we put the guard on the clipper. Now. Get it lined up right. Now we put the guard on the comb. Look at that. The guard goes on the back side of our comb. Clipper over comb, scissor over comb. We've got a guard. The comb is basically a one, and the system includes red, white, and blue, two, three, and four. They're labeled with English measurements, metric measurements, and our standard guard numbers that we all know and love. On the back side of the comb, Tapering, clipper over comb, scissor over comb. Beautiful short hair work. Detailing and trimming, don't put it down. Just flip it around, flip it over, and keep going. And if you're a lefty, any lefties out there, love my lefties. Simply flip the comb over and engage it on the opposite side. Now it's a left-handed tool. So it flips around for left or right-handed use. That's your zoot comb. Get them online at clipperguy.com to master your short hair cutting. Now, in order to wrap up the video, what I promised you was I would share with you the number one tip, trick, or technique to help you build and grow your business in short hair cutting. Now, I want to uh, reach out to the community out there and ask the question, does anybody want to guess what is the number one best way to build your business in short hair? What is the number one best way to grow a short haired clientele? Grow short hair. I love the way that sounds. Anybody want to guess? We're going to pause for a minute. We're going to give anybody who's listening, we've got a bunch of people on here, the opportunity to comment. And if you're watching this on replay, throw your comments in after the replay uh, goes live. And even if we're not live, we'll see your comments in here. Guesses. All right, here we go. The number one best way to build your business and fill your chair with short haired customers. Four little words. Are you ready for them? Here we go. Cut your hair short. That's it right there. Cut your hair short. Lead by example. The whole world knows me as Clipper Guy. Everybody calls me Clipper Guy. I got a clipper cut, not a coincidence, not an accident. If you're going to be a seller, you got to be a buyer. I use a zoot comb on every haircut that sits in my chair. I use clipper guy product on every haircut that sits in my chair and on my own hair. I advertise, talk, promote, and specialize in short hair. And what do I have a clientele filled with? Drum roll, please. Short hair hair, a great cut on a client and a good customer service. That's always the number one best way to build your business. I will never argue with that statement. You are absolutely right. But specifically in the context of building short hair, that'll build any hair. That'll build every hair. That'll build every customer. And you're absolutely right. Would never argue with you. But when it comes to short hair, the best way to build short hair is to do all of that and lead by example. People look to you. You are an expert. You are a specialist. You are the authority in the category. Leverage that. 
comment. Brian uh, Wilkinson says, also have people that work in your shop cut your hair. Absolutely. You got to be your customer. Now, I also believe, Brian, I agree with you completely. I also believe that a little bit of what I call industrial espionage is necessary from time to time. I even get haircuts in other shops. I want to see what's going on. I want to listen. I want to meet people. I want to know what's happening out there. I always pay for my haircuts. When I had employees cut my hair, I paid them to cut my hair. I don't want nothing for free. I expect to pay for it. But yes, shop in your own store. Have your people cutting your hair. So when somebody says, dude, I love your hair, you can go, Mary cuts it. And be perfectly happy for them to sit in Mary's chair if that's what they want to. Because it's your place. You're making money. I take your advice to heart. Thanks, Ivan. You are very welcome, my friend. Thank you. I appreciate the thumbs up and the comments. You've been on several videos. You've been commenting and engaging. And I'm here to support the community. I'm here to help you. That's how it works. Short hair, number one best way to build and grow your business. And the number one best way to build and grow short hair business is wear short hair. I'm due for a haircut. I'm heading off to a hair show this weekend. I'll get a cut there or before I leave. Thanks for tuning in. Like the video, comment on the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications, do all the things you need to do so you never miss a video and I can help you build and grow your business. Thank you for watching. Get yourself a zoot comb and have a great day. Bye-bye all.